and welcome back to your simile point uh, dear friends today's topic is hyperosmolar non ketotic coma um, i will be discussing the points um, which are important for your simile examination let me start uh, look here you can see uh, hyperosmolar hyperosmolar means osmos osmolarity is increased so when does the osmolarity increases when there is a dehydration right when there is a loss of water there is no water in the body the electrodes are high so osmolarity will increase so hyperosmolarity name itself indicates non ketotic no ketosis no ketosis so non ketotic coma coma means he comes to the emergency department not to the office remember this so where it is seen is seen in the patient previous history past history will be the diabetes type 2 diabetes mellitus type 2 so this is what you need to remember whenever you see honk hyperosmolar non ketotic coma think of diabetes type 2 the patient should give the history of diabetes type 2 okay so here you can see severe hyperglycemia the patients will have severe hyperglycemia uh, with insignificant ketosis this is very important insignificant ketosis the ketosis is not up to that level what you see in the diabetes mellitus coma okay diabetic ketoacidosis dka okay so what do you see non-compliance with the treatment and the lack of water intake the patients they are usually they don't they have diabetes type 2 but they will be missing some of the dose they give the history sometimes they miss the dose because of um because of alzheimer's or so because of some function or their non-compliance this is very important point non-compliance with the treatment and there's a lack of water intake they go dehydrated that's very important point you need to remember they give sometimes history that this type 2 mellitus patient went to the trip and then comes to the er with the sign and symptoms of honk so remember lack of water intake he might be the playing this in the summer okay lack of water intake this is very important so lack findings what you need to look for is a blood glucose level it's it will be nearly thousand milligram per deciliter very high blood glucose level high serum osmolarity because of the lack of water dehydration right so high BUN you can see and metabolic acidosis without ketosis this is very important point you need to remember metabolic acidosis without ketosis okay so now how do you treat how do you manage this is very important give enough fluids fluids are very important because the patient is dehydrated uh, look for electrolyte replacement give re electrolyte replacement do electrolyte replacement sorry so and insulin so because he is a diabetes type 2 so you need to give insulin also okay so your simile point what you need to remember diagnosis very important look for the patient with the trip with the lack of uh, non-compliance with the treatment lack of water intake okay lab findings look for blood glucose level very high blood glucose level no ketosis high raised BUN that's very important um, the other thing is one you know, how do you manage the management is totally different from DK in DK we start with the insulin with dextrose whereas here we don't start with that we start with the fluids that's very important you need to remember okay thank you so much for watching my video please let me know how do you feel by commenting by liking by subscribing thank you so much